Uh, Bim, guess what? Uh, it's Thursday. It's Taco Bell opening day. And I'm in the queue. It's ten past six. And I'm actually pretty much outside of the, um, well, the old Empire Cinema. Uh, as to how long it's going to take, uh, I'm going to put this in the same kind of area that I put the opening of KFC. If I can find the video, I'll stick the end of the video on the end of this video, when KFC first opens. And we will see. Now, I've never had a Tech Battle before, so I have no idea what I'm ordering and what I'm going to get. So it's all moderately exciting anyway um that's the first minute well 45 seconds done so we'll uh, i'll give you an update as we go around mixed reviews so far not that i've known anyone who's been here yet just in taco bell generally uh some people think it's good some people think it's rubbish some people think it's uh just okay anyway i'll give you my opinion uh in the next few minutes for you probably about 20 minutes for me one thing I forgot to mention was it's cost me 10 quid already because I bought this brand new shirt from JD Sports for 10 English pounds. Uh, mainly because I didn't want to do it in a work shirt and I forgot to take a shirt with me and I wasn't driving home to come all the way back here again. So uh, yeah, this is a brand new shirt and I don't normally buy, buy, buy? I don't normally buy. I don't normally buy black shirts. But I thought it's a special occasion. So we will uh, we will get a black shirt. So ergo a shirt a la black. Uh, we're now 16 uh, minutes past. So we're now six minutes in. Be fair, this is not surprising at all. Um, this is obviously not going to be what it's going to be like every time. I'm actually on the car park now, and I'm level with the the main uh, pedestrian entrance of the Taco Bell building. Um, and the car's decided we're going to move on. I don't know what I'm ordering. I've absolutely no idea what I'm having to eat. And I don't know what to ask for because I've never been to Taco Bell. Um, so if you've got any suggestions for future visits, then feel free to put them in the comments. Um, but obviously at the moment you can't comment because I'm recording this. I'm not doing it live. Or a go. Um, I'm going to just ask them what their equivalent of a Big Mac or a Whopper is. And then just eat that. That's the plan. Anyway, getting a bit uncomfy in the chair. We're now on 18 minutes, uh, I forgot to mention that they've actually got this well organised, they've actually got a couple of guys organising the cars as they come onto the uh, car park to kind of go around. So you're basically doing a figure eight, so you go down round past the cinema and then up through the other car park and then queue up in that section and then cross over the road that you've just driven over to get into the main queue. So that's where I am. There's a few people coming in and out. A uh, couple of uh, well, families going in, lots of uh, teenagers uh, coming in and out as well. So it's quite busy pedestrian wise. Uh, we haven't moved for a couple of minutes, uh, but hopefully we will be up and running again very soon indeed. Because I'm hungry. One thing I've uh, got to figure out as well is where is Taco Bell going to fall in the order of my favourite fast food restaurants? At the moment, I'd say my favourite is KFC, uh, then McDonald's, and then Burger King, and that's kind of how it's been for a considerable length of time. But will Taco Bell trouble the top three, or will it be a, uh, I'll go there if there's nothing else to have uh, kind of uh, place? I don't know. Um, so it's, again, moderately exciting uh, that that is what is occurring. Uh, we are about to um, move forward literally half a car length. I am now coming up to the, well I'm, I'm in the middle of the disabled bay. I'm not actually in the disabled bay obviously, um, but I mean the, um, in line with the disabled bay, I'm now in line with the middle of the three bays. The last bay is the bay that's before the actual uh, drive through part. So yeah, we're doing okay at the minute. Uh, 18.24, so 14 minutes so far. Rejoice at this news, they've actually got a screen showing um, various foods and things. It's basically where I thought the screen would be, which is the uh, the square hole uh, when I did the walk round of the drive through uh, a while ago. So uh, yeah, all being well, uh, that'll give me an idea of what I'm getting because I genuinely have no idea, even at this point. 
27 so that is 17 minutes so nearly 10, uh, 20 minutes which isn't bad like I say when I went to uh, KFC it was I'm sure it was half an hour something like that and obviously it'll speed up as fewer people come and the staff get more used to actually doing it it is day one after all anyway next time I speak to you I'll be looking at that screen <laughs> Volcano Burrito Don't know what a Volcano Burrito is Plant Protein, well that's a no isn't it? We're not having a plant protein It's new apparently, everything's new to me Craving a meal for two, £14.99 Well I'm on my own um, So no, I'm not going to do that Someone's doing a massive order here But the young lady seems very happy and jolly there's another screen thing there as well. Thank God for that. So there's two screens. There's one screen that you might be able to see. No, you can't see, but you should see it when we go past. So we've got one screen that you should see here when I go past, and then another screen over there. Are you excited? It's 18.31, so we've been here 21 minutes. Right, what are we having? Uh, can I have a please? Uh, yeah, can I have a uh, volcano thingamabob please, burrito? A volcano burrito box? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, would you like to go large on that for an extra? Oh, sorry, one, one second, sorry. Yeah, would you like to go large on that for an extra large? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, what drink would you like with that? Uh, seven up, please. A seven up? Yeah. Yeah, anything else? No, that's it. You're order number 783 and it's 843 on the next window, please. Thank you. Thank you. 1833. It's getting exciting. Even got cash. So, did you get your food straight away or did you park up? Because the car in front of the car in front just disappeared. The car in front's just paid and been given a receipt and the drink and some straws. Now, mine's quite a small order. But it depends if they do them in order or if some things take longer than others. Because obviously you have uh, bays where people park up in most fast food restaurants. But one could imagine today that would be incredibly busy. Oh no, they're getting the food. Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah. Mad. That's what the line lights are. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. say, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Take care. See ya. So, uh, 25 minutes. Uh, 25 minutes to get served, which isn't too bad for a first night of uh, going to a fast food restaurant. Uh, now we need to find somewhere to park, which I would imagine is not going to be easy. We're about to have, or I'm about to have, you're not, you're not about to have my first uh, Taco Bell meal. I'm about to have my first Taco Bell meal. Um, I didn't get a receipt, I don't think. Did I get a receipt? No, I didn't get a receipt. Um, so that's what we've got. We've got a, a bag that says Taco Bell on it, which is pretty obvious to be fair. And inside is a, a box, nice cardboard box. And inside that, is, oh, you look at it first, that. So we've got, uh, fries, we'll try the fries first. Wow, that's amazing. They're soft on the inside. They've got something on the outside that gives them a bit of oomph. Temperature score for the fries is 10 out of 10. To put them in there, in the box, we've got um, three things and uh, some uh, caramel sauce. 
Why have we got caramel sauce? That sounds horrendous. I mean, hmm. Anyway, let's see what's in the little bag, shall we? Because I haven't got a clue. Here we have a first look. There you go. Oh. All oh, right. So those are um, crafters. That's the sweet, which would explain the caramel sauce. Very sweet as well. I've just let my fingers have to touch them. Right, this is. No idea what this is. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's a taco. It's got uh, uh, meat in it, and a bit of lettuce, and some cheese on the top. For what it is, it's very good, but it's weird because if I bite the bottom bit, it's warm mince meat, and if I bite the top bit. It's cold. It's a moderately unusual experience. I'm not a fan of the texture. But overall, I'll give that 6 out of 10. I assume this is the burrito. So there it is in all its glory. Wrapped up. Carbs. <laughs> I'm very pleased to have this, I'll be honest with you. My first ever taco uh, bell burrito. It's hot. The temperature isn't hot, but the actual spicy is hot. It's a little like the picture. I don't know really, I didn't really see the picture. The temperature as in the the, the centigrade temperature of it. Uh, I'll give it five out of 10. It's not mega. Just dropped it all over my new shirt. Taste wise, it's all right. It's got rice in it. It's got meat in it. It looks like it's got some cheese in it as well. And obviously it's wrapped in the burrito. So yeah, so taste wise, it's not bad. I'll give it eight out of 10. It's got some sauce in it, but the sauce is all at the bottom. So far, so good. What about the drink? Black straw. Watch inside. It's a pretty decent size as well. I mean, value for money. It's got to be 9 out of 10. You get a taco. You get a um, burrito. You get a decent amount of fries. You get a decent drink. And then you get the caramel sauce with the um, thingamabobs. I can't remember what they're called. Plenty of flavour. It's not overly fizzy, but it's all right, it'll do. So I'll give that uh, eight out of 10. And I'm gonna pause it there now because I'm gonna finish my fries off and then I'm gonna come back and do the whatever that is. Sweet time. Now you don't normally get a sweet with a meal. Well, not at the other places anyway. Uh, not in a box meal. So we've got the uh, caramel sauce. So I'm gonna open that up and see what that looks like. I can imagine it looks like caramel sauce. Not that I've ever had caramel sauce. Can't get into it, it doesn't open. Ah, got it. So that's your caramel sauce. And you've got your bag of goodies. So 
So we've got uh, caramel sauce and whatever the hell this thing is. So we'll put the whatever the hell the, this thing is, no doubt you'll tell me, in the caramel sauce. Wiggle it around a bit. J -j 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 jiggle it a bit. Oh, God. dripping everywhere. It's a bit sickly. And very chewy. Um, interesting idea, but um, nah. I'm not having the other one, there were two. I think I'll be in a diabetic coma if I have the other one. So I'll give them a two out of ten. If you like that kind of thing, fantastic, but nah. Sooner I've had more chips, but the chips were amazing. So, uh, value for money. Well, it was less than nine quid. You got a good drink, good fries, uh, your burrito, and the um, taco, and the stuff I've just. Bleh. Um, so I've got to give it 10 out of 10 for value for money. I mean, it really is good value for money. And um, overall, was it better than I was expecting? Yes, it was better than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Was it the best thing I've ever had? No. So I'm going to plonk it in at 7 out of 10 overall. Um, my favourite thing were the fries. Um, and then the actual burrito, which wasn't volcanically hot. Um, and then, of course, the um, the taco and um, the stuff that we don't talk about. Which has got me covered in sugar. So, uh, yeah. Will I go against Taco Bell? Definitely. Um, probably when it's a bit quieter. But... Uh, yeah, finally it's open anyway. I've been following it for a long while on my wig and watch. So you can see it from foundations to uh, opening on various uh, ones. I always mention it on, near enough mention it on the uh, wig and watch uh, descriptions as and when. So uh, yeah, uh, when it quiets down a bit, get yourself down here and get yourself a Taco Bell and see what you think of it. I've done loads of other uh, restaurant reviews.